since I did some modification or upgrade to this inverter, I haven't tested it. But I made a video where I did the upgrade. So today I would be testing it. What I did, I changed this outlet, which to me, it was upside down. I put this there because of a 3000 watt inverter. If you're using it constantly, if it's something you have on the go, it's all well and good to plug in here. But if you want something for home use, it's wise to have a separate outlet than that. I, I'm not trusting that to be putting out 3000 watts con continuously. And I changed the cables that are going to that from um, 16 to 10 gauge from 16 gauge to 10 gauge so that's the modification i did on it and i made a 7s 10p battery pack which is 24 volts i have a video on this also and this is the power I'm getting from it. Twenty six point three. I'm going to connect this, but I'll be doing it off camera because I'll be using one hand, but I'll use this resistor. To connect it, it's a 25 watt resistor. Put it on this cable and connect, touch this so I would charge the capacitors inside there and I'll connect that. So I'll pause the video now. Okay, I've connected it. So which means there is power to it. Before I start, everything I use in this video, I'll have a link in the description below that if you purchase from my link, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you and uh, I also this is the remote for it and it didn't come with these batteries so I had to purchase these batteries let me put the watt meter on this is it The watt meter doesn't have a, a light, so I don't think. Okay, I'll put, I'll connect a 150 watt. Soda in iron to it. 
this is the soldering iron if you notice the light is on 150 watts on the watt meter it shows 139 and it looks like it's dropping looks like it's dropping the battery voltage is 25.3 the current is 226 the watt snow is uh, 136 and it's uh, dropping this iron is a 150 watts 150 watt iron i because of the covid I cannot get batteries locally for this. These are all the batteries I have and I made a, a 24 volt with it. I realize the batteries I'm getting from the vehicles are not powerful enough to run that. The amperage is dropping very, very rapidly. And if I do order batteries from Battery Hookup, when they do reach here, I'm in the Caribbean, uh, island called St. Lucia, wherever you are watching this, I would have to pay $10 a pound. After I buy the batteries, I have to go through a third party to ship the batteries. To St. Lucia and when it do arrive I have to pay again $10 a pound plus what customs will put on it so I rather struggle locally to see if I could what batteries I could get it would take me some time but for this I do have everything I have my panels my breakers um, I got a controller transfer switch I have everything for that and I have some cable coming in for me to uh, set it up you see right now it's 135 from 140 to 135 it keeps dropping the volt is 22 no yeah the output voltage is 22 225 225 volts from what we started off at the volts from the battery is 25.1 and what is showing on the inverter is 24.4 volts I don't have enough power to run this full capacity so I don't know if it doing what they claim it to do put out 3000 watts with all that said I will switch off now this is the remote until the next one if you find this video was helpful please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos everything I showed in this video I'll put a link in the description that if you purchase from me I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you, which would help 
the channel go a very very long way thank you and goodbye